Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about the Edda Aquarid Meteor Shower. Every year from late April to early May, we have the Edda Aquarid Meteor Shower. It can be seen in the northern and the southern hemispheres. The radiant for this meteor shower is Aquarius, which doesn't rise in the northern hemisphere this time of year until well past midnight. And Aquarius is low on the horizon in the northern hemisphere. And that's why the meteor shower is best seen from the southern hemisphere. The meteor shower is caused by the Earth passing through the remnants of the famous Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet takes 75 years to orbit the sun and last made an appearance in 1986. It reached magnitude 3, I think. It won't appear again until 2061. I don't think I'll live that long, but maybe you will. The orbit of Halley's Comet passes closely to the Earth's orbit in late October, causing the Orion meteor shower, and again in early May, causing the Eta Aquarid meteor shower. In the southern hemisphere, the Eta Aquarid meteor shower can produce about 60 meteors per hour. In the northern hemisphere, we're lucky if we see about 10 to 20. But this year, 2024, is predicted to be a good one. Scientists predicted that this year the Eta Aquarid meteor shower would be more prolific than usual due to the Earth passing through debris left over from Halley's Comet, casting off a lot of particles in 983 BC. That's right, we'll be passing through the debris left over from Halley's Comet 2,500 years ago. Pretty neat. It's very cloudy here where I am in Montana, and in fact, it snowed yesterday morning. Scientists are predicting that this Eta Aquaria will peak early in the morning of Sunday, May 5th. And I mean 4 a.m. early. But on the morning of May 4th, it was clear here, so I stayed up well, well into the wee hours of the morning, and I saw the gorgeous Milky Way rising over the house. It was very cold, 24 degrees Fahrenheit, but... It was very clear. I took an SQM and it was uh, 21.46, which is really good. So they're predicting that this will be a very good Eta Aquarius major shower. So I stayed up and I watched it. I just lay on my back and I enjoyed the show. Let's have a look. hope you got to see it too. If not, check again in October because it's predicted to be a very good Orion meteor shower this year as well. That's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off.